Okay, I'm making this video in response to a comment that I got on the one that I did about a year ago about um, adding texture in Medibang because someone wanted to know if they had a paper texture, which I don't think they do. So I'm going to show you how to make your own texture overlays if they don't have what you're looking for. So I've started off with a blank canvas. I'm just going to go in and add a new layer and add just like a little splotch of colour just to use as a background or something to add a texture over. Um, I've gone and googled paper textures, found one that I like. You can either save the image to your device or copy it, which I'm going to do in this instance just because it's easier and quicker. Um, I'm going to paste that in there, that's going to come up as a new layer and then I'm just going to blow this up nice and big over the top of that. Press OK. Hopefully that'll... Yep, not fuzzy. Um, and then... Oh, I think there's a couple ways you can do this. You can either... Um, convert the layer into an 8-bit layer, which, see, you'll make it'll go transparent, it'll extract the lines. But then, you, when it's an 8-bit, you can't protect alpha and change the colour, so if you do it that way, you'll just have to convert it back to a colour layer after you've done that, and it'll just keep it how it was. And then, protect the alpha, change your colour, and then... Oh, what have I done? Oh, it did work. I just can't really see it. Um, and then, you'll get, like, a nice texture that you can see over that and then if you want it just to be confined to that then put it on a clipping layer and you'll only get it show up on this bit. I'm just going to change the background colour so you can see it a bit better. See, there you go. Nice paper texture over your work. 